A New York Times report in August put the spotlight onto a geopolitical crisis unfolding in the Himalayan region. Selig Harrison, director at the Center for International Policy, who authored the report, states that Islamabad was de facto handing over control of Gilgit Baltistan to the Chinese. Some seven to 10,000 Chinese troops have been deployed in the disputed region. Gilgit Baltistan, part of the erstwhile princely state of Jammu and Kashmir, is now illegally occupied by Pakistan. A delegation of Kashmiri leaders, who was on a fact-finding mission to the disputed region recently, confirmed the increasing Chinese presence. लेकिन चाइनीज बहुत सारे देखे गए हैं जो उनकी कॉलोनियां पक्की भी हैं और कच्ची भी हैं कॉलोनियां इस तरह से मतलब बहुत सारे लोग कुछ लोग तो कहते हैं कि एक एक लाख से डेढ़ लाख से ज्यादा लोग जो हैं चाइनीज उस खिते में मौजूद हैं वो किस परपस के लिए हैं मतलब वो क्लियर नहीं है Not content with plundering the abundant natural resources of the area, Pakistan has handed over large swathes of the area to the Chinese to accelerate the exploitation of the mineral deposits. The control over this strategically important region suits Beijing, says Shabir Chaudhry, another member of the delegation. Pakistanis may not be... Uh very much interested about their national interest. But Chinese certainly are very much interested uh, about their national interest and their future plans, not only for uh, the region but in the world at, at large. Beijing has been doling out assistance to Islamabad largely to cater to its strategic and commercial interests. The Chinese are developing the ports of Gwadar, Omara and Pasni, on Pakistan's southwestern coast. This will enable Chinese oil tankers to cut the present 16 to 25 days sailing time and reach the Arabian Gulf in 48 hours. Western and Pakistani intelligence sources confirm the dual use and say more than docking its war fleet, the Chinese will be using it for subsurface platforms and maritime espionage. Gilgit Barsan uh, is strategically very important. They know that uh, other powers uh, want to have a foothold there. They know that uh, the route to Gwadar goes through there, and Gwadar is very, very important for the Chinese. So they want to ensure if things go wrong with Pakistan, at least they are there to ensure that uh, their Chinese interests, are, uh, national interests, are safeguarded, protected. The Chinese who had temporary encampments are now building permanent accommodation for their nationals, indicating that they are in for a long haul. Till now, the Chinese had confined themselves to their enclaves, but now they are meddling in the local affairs, residents told the visiting delegation. Chinese have decided to take part in local matters. They are building their, uh, uh, like their uh, accommodations, concrete bunkers, not, not bunkers, but concrete uh, accommodations. They are taking part in uh, local politics. They are supporting local, uh, you know, political activists. Because they can't, as a Chinese, they can't go out and uh, resolve some of the issues or talk to people or find out what is going on. They need local people. Human resource is very, very important. So they are investing in that as well. Not only that they are investing in infrastructure, but they are investing in local people. And that, that also indicates they are there to stay. Sixteen airstrips have been built by the Chinese on the ecologically fragile region. Some 22 secret tunnels have been made in the area. Even though it is said to be part of the proposed gas line from Iran to China, it could also be for missile storage, the New York Times report has alleged. <laughs>